Hey guys, welcome to episode 22 of my New York Mets franchise here on MLB 14, the show. We are in 7-5 to start off the year as we are heading into the 13th game here in Nationals Park as we are taking on the 6-6 six six Washington Nationals. Hopefully to make our division lead go up a little bit higher because we are in the division lead at this point. Our lineup today will be Brett Gardner, Daniel Murphy, Jason Hayward, Travis Arno, Colby Rasmus, Kevin Pawlicki, Wilmore Flores, Daniel Muno, Noah Syndergaard, David Wright is getting the day off because he was his energy bar was really low and we're going up against the left-hander Gio Gonzalez one on one with a 3.72 ERA in two games pitched. Brett Gardner is going to be starting off the game a 2-1 pitch. Two Gardner is going to line this one into center field and he's going to try to test two on this and with Gardner's speed he's going to start off this game with a lead off stand up double. After Daniel Murphy would pop out, Jason Hayward is up. He's batting the three hole today, but he will strike out on the inside fastball. We would get nothing there. So we're going to take a look at the Nationals lineup. A couple big names here that aren't really on the Nationals. Jacoby Ellsbury, one of them. Pete Cosmer, Joe Maurer, Bryce Harper, Wilson Ramos, Ryan Zimmerman, and Joe Maurer was the other one. That's a big name. And we're going to be sending Noah Syndergaard to the mound. 0-1 with an 11.25 ERA. Gave up. Uh, decent amount of runs in his first game and he only got four innings as you could see right there so the first batter for them will be P. Cosmos Ellsbury's on first and that's back-to-back -back walks for actually Noah Syndergaard so that's not a good way to start off the game and then Bryce Harper's up with runners at the corners and he's gonna hit this one into deep left field Gardner going back at the wall but he will make the catch and that will get the run home so the Nationals are gonna take an early one nothing lead over the Mets not a good way to start off the game for Syndergaard and how we would like to start it off. So now we're still in the 2-2 pitch to Wilson Ramos, and he will strike out swinging. And that's a big strike off for Syndergaard, not giving up another run. So we're going to head to the top of the second. Colby Rasmus is up. 2-1 pitch to Colby Rasmus. He's going to line this one past the first baseman. This will go into right field. The right fielder is going to misplay it, and Rasmus is going to get a sliding double. So that's back-to-back. -back lead off doubles for the New York Mets as we are looking to get our first run on the board. Now Kevin Pawlicki is up. Actually, better yet, this is Wilmore for his runner on second, and he's going to get a very favorable call. That was most definite a strike, but he got lucky there. And we have runners at the corners. We can do some damage here. 3-2 pitch to Daniel Muno, and he will ground into the 6-4-3 double play to end the inning. So we couldn't get anything done there. As we're going to hit in the bottom half of the second, Ryan Zimmerman is up. 2-2 two -two pitch to Ryan, and he will strike out swinging on the curveball. That's just nasty by Noah Syndergaard. And the next batter will be Tyler Moore, the left fielder. 3-2 pitch to Moore, and he's going to strike out on almost the exact same curveball that he threw to Zimmerman. So that's back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now, Noah Syndergaard's up in the top of the third. 3-2 pitch, and he's going to line this one down the right field line, and this will roll all the way to the wall. And this is actually going to be back to back to back lead off doubles by the New York Mets and hopefully this time we can get a run off the board Noah Syndergaard just showing why he's just a stud of a player so now Brett Gardner's up 2-2 pitch to Gardner and he's gonna hit this one into deep center field Ellsbury going back and he's gonna make the catch at the wall Syndergaard will tag up but what a catch by Ellsbury to save an extra base hit and so we're gonna have runner at Runners at third, and that would also save a run. Daniel Murphy's up. 1-1 one, one pitch to Murphy, and he's going to ground this one to the second baseman. Not going to throw it home, so we are finally on the board. It's a 1-1 one, one game now. A leadoff double actually paid off, and Syndergaard was the one to get home. So now 2-2 two, two pitch to Jacoby Ellsbury, and he will strike out. Syndergaard has been really good besides that first inning today. So now Travis Darno is up. 1-2 pitch to Darno, and he's going to hit this one. A diving play by Pete Cosmer, but the throw is not in time. Darno hustled his way down the first base line, and that is a hit for Travis Darno, a leadoff hit to be exact. Now, he's actually batting the fourth hole today, but Colby Rasmus is going to strike out on the changeup. That would have been big right there, but we're going to hit the bottom half of the inning, and a leadoff single for the Nationals. So hopefully... We can get a double play. 2-2 two -two pitch to Wilson Ramos. And the pitch from Syndergaard is going to be past Kevin Pawlicki into right field. And that is going to have runners on first and second. And now 
We're going to have Ryan Zimmerman up 2-2 pitches. Zimmerman is going to ground this one to Muno, who will flip it on the Murphy onto first. And that is going to be a 6-4-3 double play for ourselves. So now Tower Moore is up 2-2 pitch to Tower Moore. And he will strike out swinging on the circle change. Great pitch by Syndergaard to get out of the jam. We're in the bottom of the fifth. This is the 73rd pitch from Zimmerman. I meant from Syndergaard, but he's going to give up a solo shot right here. And that is going to give the Nationals a 2-1 lead. And that was a mistake by Noah Syndergaard. As Anthony Rendon is going to get a solo shot. Now with the runner on first, he's going to get out of the inning. But it is a 2-1 lead for the Nationals. Now we are falling back in the lead. So I'm actually going to step aside from the gameplay just for a little bit here. I was talking about being huge sellers or maybe even buyers at the deadline. And this might come sooner than I thought. In the next episode, you will probably see... A bunch of trade ideas that I will show to you guys and then hopefully you guys can put in the comment section what you think I should do but there's a trade involving a really good shortstop first baseman starting pitcher and a relief pitcher and even some outfield depth and the people that could be in these trades are like I said Michael Pineda Colby Rasmus says we're gonna tie this game up at two a piece so yeah like I was saying Colby Rasmus could be on his way out of here he has been struggling pretty much his career and as a Met Michael Pineda and uh, who else? We could also have um, Mark Malentium has also been in the trade as well. So we gotta go back to the game. Bottom of the six, two-two pitch to Wilson Ramos on a pitch from Syndergaard. It's going to be a D5 ball into left field. Gardner at the track, and it is out of here. A solo shot for Wilson Ramos as the Nationals are going to take a three-to-two lead over the New York Mets. And that's Syndergaard's third and run, and we're gonna go on the bottom of the seventh. We're gonna head to the bullpen. Jacob Degrom will get the call. He's one of our long relief pitchers joining Eddie Butler. He's giving up not only one run in four games with that point ninety six here, right? So now a 3-1 pitch to, I believe that was P. Cosmer, but he's going to pop out to left field, and there was also runners on first and second as well. So now the next batter looks like it is Tyler Moore, and he it was actually Joe Mauer, excuse me, but he will strike out on the check swing. On the fastball, so Jacob DeGrom gets out of that jam. Now we're going to try to tie this game up. 1-2 pitch to Jason Hayward as Ross Detweiler is on the mound at this point. And he's going to strike out on the changeup. That's his third strike out of the game. That's the hat trick for Jason Hayward. And that's going to end the inning. So Jacob DeGrom is still on the mound. And a 3-2 pitch to a pinch hitting Jeff Francoeur. And he's going to pop this one out to center field. Rasmus will make the catch. And that will end the inning. So we're going to head to the top of the ninth. They are going to bring on their closer, Rafael Soriano. 3-2 pitch to Travis Starr. No, and he will strike out swinging on the cutter. And that's one down for the Mets. Their hopes of winning this game are falling short. So no, 0-2 pitch to Rasmus. And he's going to foul tip this one into the glove on the slaughter. And that is out number two. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Sar Soriano. Could he strike out the side? Kevin Pawlicki's up. Full count pitch to Pawlicki. And a pitch from Soriano. It's strike three on the high heat. A 1-2-3 inning for Soriano as he strikes out the side in the ninth. And the Nationals win by a final score of 3-2. to two. Noah Syndergaard will get his second loss of the year. As Ross Dello will pick up the win and Soriano gets the save. So like I said in the next episode, you will see a bunch of trades. So be expect and look out for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode 21 of the Mets franchise here on MLB 14 The Show. And I will see you guys in the next video.